are the death flower. Contrary to its name, it saves lives. Sim lives. The reason you'd want one is because you can give it to your best friend, the Grim Reaper, to save a sim from death. Alas, let's jump into it. Here are a few ways to get a death flower. The first way is through the gardening skill. You'll need to get to level 5 so you can cut and graft plants. Then you'll need to cut and graft an apple and a cherry tree to get a pomegranate. Apples can be easily obtained through buying a starter fruit seed pack on the computer, while cherries can be obtained from plants around Oasis Spring. There's one east of the land grab residence, or it's named Affluista Mansion if you've kicked that family out, and there's another further behind the back of the lot. Note that if it's still a bit of a sapling, you'll need to play a sim in the general area for a while, and then the plant will mature. Grow one of the two plants and take a cutting of the other before grafting them together. Then in addition to apples and cherries, the tree will also produce pomegranates. Note that you can also get a pomegranate rarely by fishing, but this is very luck based, so I'm not a huge fan. Now, you'll also need to get an orchid. For this, you'll need to cut and graft a snapdragon and a lily together. Both can be found around Willow Creek. Lilies are a little more tricky, but there's one to the east of the Willow Creek Park. Row one and take the cutting of the other and graft it. You'll then have a plant that produces lilies, snapdragons and orchids. You can also get an orchid by completing the Space Rock Collection, which can be done by sending your sim on lots of space missions. Again, this is luck based and rather timely, so I'm not a huge fan. You've got your pomegranate and your orchid. Grow them both, and then once they're grown, cut one and graft it with the other, and you'll now have a plant that produces pomegranates, orchids, and most importantly, death flowers. Hooray! You're probably thinking, wow, that's a lot of work. And it is, but there are a few cheeky ways to bypass this mess. If you're level 10 gardening, you can purchase rare seed packets online. They cost a thousand simoleons and they have a chance to contain a death flower. Also, if you have the Realm of Magic game pack installed and your sim is a spellcaster, occasionally death flowers will be on sale at the potion ingredient store in Caster's Alley. Once you've got a death flower, you can grow it to get a plant that exclusively produces them, and then you're done. That's how to get a death flower. Thank you so much for watching. If you found that enjoyable or helpful, please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and have an amazing day. See you later.